Oh, this is just such a treat for me. Jane Middlemiss on Virgin Radio, backstage in the inner sanctum with the man himself, the lovely Mark Owen. So nice to see you again. Mark, I have not seen you for so many years. Look at you at Virgin Radio. I know, look at you on the main stage <laughs> at that <laughs> Look at us both still doing look it. Look at us. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're not doing no, bad, are we? <laughs> Um, I came over, I've got to tell you, right, it's Sunday afternoon, Yeah. everybody's a bit tired, they've been here for ages, and I was like, oh, I'm sluggish, I walked over, and I, my spirit, I weaved myself through the crowd, and I was quite at the front, and my spirit just picked up, and I had the best time. Oh, and then we came on. And then you were on. <laughs> <laughs> ruined everything. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about you. You're oh. so good, Mark. You oh, we were had a so great time. good. What oh. was it like for you up there? Do you know what? I'm still taking it all in, to be honest. Cause mm-hmm. That was like uh, I said, it was our second gig. So we've, we've um, and to play Latitude, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, prestige about this festival, and to come and and to get to perform here, you know, mm-hmm. looking at the other acts who are performing this weekend, I, I, it was a real honour for me. And I was really excited about it. A little bit nervous as well about about it, but uh, a great crowd. Mm. Um, I'm really pleased with being out there performing. I'm enjoying being on stage. It's been a long time, obviously, with everything that's gone on around the world as well. Not just for me, but for you know all the acts and mm. and, and music in general. Um, to be back out and performing in front of a crowd really feels positive, and and you feel that. Oh, I feel that when I walk up on the stage, it's just, it's just, it's a buzz, and it's, it's just, you know, I'm performing new songs from a new record, so, uh, you know, it, it, I've got a wonderful band. Yeah, they're I, so I, tight, the band. So good, so good. Yeah. Um, and I'm so, so pleased with them. We, we, we went out and bought some outfits before we, uh, before we came, and. And, uh, and and we're having a really good time, and it feels Could really we fresh. we talk and, fashion? Yeah. Uh, I'm glad somebody finally is. I've I'm, been waiting for somebody here. Mark, I mean, your outfit out there was superb. Thank you. Those trousers. That means a lot. Does it? <laughs> it really does. I worked really hard on trying to do it. I tried on a lot of outfits to find that one. <laughs> So I'm glad that you've appreciated it. Honestly, they were so good. I love the high waist. Ah, I love the peach shirt. But, you know, I knew that jacket was not going to last. Yeah, the jacket. It was too hot. But it was good. I had to to suffer a little bit for my art. I mean, you did. I mean, you looked superb. But uh, yeah, and we all the, the jacket didn't. The jacket didn't last, but the the trousers thankfully did. Um, <laughs> it would have been weird yeah, if they would have. Yeah. You would have standing there in your pants. <laughs> it was hot. It was. It was. Uh, it's, it's obviously a hot day today, and like you say, you've done three days of, of three this, days. Um, which is is wonderful in the UK to have. That's this beautiful. Weather. Yeah. But I think I think they put you on at that time for a reason, Mark, because I do think you really did lift the energy of the crowd and you pulled a lot of people over there. That was one of the biggest crowds I've seen oh. in the day. Oh, uh, brilliant. You know, well, that's, and, that's and, good you, to hear. and everybody was singing. They were, they were all singing and joining in and uh and and, and, and it's great. You know, I have I'm fortunate because I've been, as you know, doing this for quite some time. Um, so, you know, I, I have some a few songs that hopefully people will know. You've got and a we few, can, haven't you? We've got a few songs we can pull <laughs> out, and uh, and I was pleased with the set list. When you, when you're in, we were rehearsing in Camden. When you're in your rehearsal room in Camden, and you're trying to put us, try, trying to use your imagination, and you know, imagine a crowd, and mm. you're putting your set list together, and you're thinking, you know, what should we do now, and how should we do? This? Is this the right song to do at this point? And then it's a real relief when it works <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 and it and it and the set list felt good i think we played some some of the some you know the right songs and and you cracked out a few a couple of take that numbers as well you take that numbers thrown in there for good measure it's like uh, yeah but did you uh, you probably didn't see my face but did you see, see the confetti that was that was a moment for me the confetti talk to me about it well, explain what happened with the confetti well we, it was in magic and and a few and uh, and it was a bit of a last minute addition the confetti but when we were in rehearsals and we were singing the song the lyric of the song is are you ready it's like confetti and and we say that quite a few times and, and i phoned 
my management a few days before this and I was like, we can't do this song if we ain't got confetti because I keep singing, here it comes, here comes the confetti. And so everybody worked really hard oh, to get us confetti. And when that. he went off, I was like, I knew this would be a moment. And I just <laughs> stood there and I, I took it in. Yeah. So that was the, Beautiful. it was a special moment for me. And I have, to, I have to thank everybody for, for making that happen because I know that they, uh, they worked hard to, to, um, to find us some white confetti to, to hit that moment when we sang that it came. But it was a moment. I can see in your face. It was all in my guitarist's hair. She was going crazy. I could see she was blowing it all over the place. She was swinging her head around in it. I was, it was a, it was cool. You've got the new album coming out as well soon, haven't you? We have, yeah, in September. Talk to me about the, the new tracks. So, um, yeah, the album's called Land of Dreams, mm. and um, it was all written and recorded in Los Angeles. Um, I had three producers on the record. Uh, a lady called Jennifer De Silvio from, she's from New Jersey actually. She's awesome. Um, she got involved sort of first of all and helped me to sort of develop a sound and get the sound for the record and it's just been a real pleasure to we recorded the album quite quick it, we, we finished recording I think in April and we did it over maybe about a month mm. um, but I'm really really pleased with the record I can't wait for people to hear it we, we, we keep, we keep it, um, putting stuff so it's we been played, a while since we've had some solo stuff it from is, here it has it's been 10 years Yeah. and um, we played three of the new songs tonight today um, and it and they're going down really well the crowd are, um, seem to be enjoying them and, and and they're fitting into the set really well which is always a a, a good thing and it, it, in fact when I was making the record part of the process was thinking about it live mm. and how it would translate live and I'm really pleased that the new songs are translating yeah. good on stage do you know one of the things I love about you performing as an artist you really take care of the fans like you came down the steps and stood there right at the front yeah and there was a girl looking up at you and she looked like the messiah was in front of her and you actually looked a bit like jesus to be honest and and sweaty, i was like sweaty, <laughs> sweaty jesus <laughs> But they were just, you could see in their faces that this was a moment they were never going to forget. And that is something that must, I mean, what does it feel like when you're at the front and they're singing those songs and you can feel that energy coming at you? Do you know, it's a lot of the times when we do these shows, I always say, oh, is there a way for us to get down to the crowd? And usually yeah. the answer that comes back is, oh, no. Yeah. And halfway through, I saw this big stair. You just do it anyway. I had a little look and I thought, <laughs> where does, that stair goes all the way down to the ground. I'm going. And I just, I just went. <laughs> you it was brilliant. Rebel. I loved it. I know. I saw a stair. Usually it stops. Usually you get five steps so you can kind of go down a little bit, but you can't get down, down. And I just had a little, it's like, oh my, it goes all the way down. That is where I'm heading. So thankfully I was in my high heels. I didn't trip on the it. stairs. Loved then it. we made it down there. And Did it, you see it me was in the a crowd? real moment for me. It was a real moment. It was, it really, was a beautiful really moment nice, for the crowd. Really nice. It was yeah. a really beautiful moment. Yeah. Um, I'm being told to wind up. Okay. Everybody's like looking at their watches, oh, but I could literally sit here and talk to you. Thank you so much for coming. It's been so nice to see so you nice again, man. You. And congrats on everything. And congrats on everything. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see you in London when you're playing those gigs. Absolutely. Thank you, darling. Thank you.